to disinfect the respirator before you do so, you want to make sure you wash your hands with soap and water so that you're starting clean. Then you take the sanitizing wipes and we recommend the those that contain alcohol and they should be made for equipment sanitation. You want to make sure the wipe is moist as you unfold it. If it's not, that means it's not appropriate for use. If it's somewhat dry. Then you want to go ahead and pick up the respirator. You want to go ahead and wipe the inside of the respirator first completely covering all the surfaces on the inside, the gaps, the crevices, wiping down the filters and such. Make sure you coat every area or at least wipe every area. Then wipe out the face piece. Then you can wipe off the top of the respirator on the outside. You want to avoid cleaning the outside first and then taking the inside so that you don't contaminate the inside of the respirator. You can wipe off the filter cartridge on the outside. You want to make sure you don't wipe off the top or at least if you do, do so lightly so you don't get any solution on the inside so you can kind of dust off slightly on the outside with the wipe. And then you want to go ahead and put it in a bag or your equipment bag so it's not contaminated. You can use the bag it came with or the bag that was issued to with you when the, you got the respirator. And if it's still moist, you want to let it air dry a little bit so it's, you want it, it doesn't uh, um, get nasty. And then the, remember too, the filters for these respirators, these P100, in the healthcare environment or in the environment that we're using them in, they will last a long time. Um, good guide recommendation is probably uh, at least every three months you want to go ahead and change the filters. Uh, if you have difficulty breathing through them, that means they may be clogged, but that's usually in dirty and dusty environments, those that you wouldn't see in a healthcare environment. You also want to change the filter anytime any fluid has splashed on it, uh, blood or body fluid, water, because that could uh, uh, injure or damage the integrity of the filter and cause it not to perform properly. So when you wash the respirator, you don't want to immerse the filters in water or moisture and you don't want to make sure, you want to make sure that if they get blood or body fluid splashed on them that you discard them and get new filters.